Hi guys, welcome back to A Bookish Weekend. My name is Brooke and today we're going to be doing my summer biannual bibliothon TBR. So the biannual bibliothon is a readathon that takes place every six months in the winter and the summer and it lasts for a week and it's just really fun. Um, Thing to partake in. They have reading challenges, blog challenges, video challenges and Instagram challenges. I don't know what challenges I'm going to be partaking in this year. Probably not the YouTube challenges because I tried to but it all kind of failed miserably and I don't know if I have the energy to try again but who knows. Um, I might do the blog challenges or the Instagram challenges or whatever. I am definitely going to try and give the reading challenges a go as this is what today's video is. So this is actually the first readathon I've actually properly took part in. I was part of the Rainbowathon, I think that's what it's called. I was a co-host. I should know what it's called if I was a co-host. Um, but I didn't actually do any of the reading challenges. I just did the blog challenges and the Instagram challenges. But today I am going to RTBR for the Bionic Bibliothon and hopefully I'll get through as many books as possible. Um, I have doubled up on a few of the challenges, trying to get, you know, try to complete all the challenges even if I'm not going to read seven books. I have got quite a few books to choose from though. I've given myself some choice because I am a mood reader. Um, so I have given myself some leeway with this TBR so I can sort of just read what I feel like. That's why I have quite a few books on my TBR, although I'm definitely not going to read them all in this, on the week. So the Brian Bibliothon this time around starts on the 14th of July and it lasts for a week. So that's this Saturday, so I thought now is the perfect time to get my TBR up and so you can guys see what I'm reading. I'd love to know what you guys are reading for this readathon if you're taking part, let me know. So yeah, let's just get into the video. So I have my TBR and all the challenges written down in my reading journal here. The first challenge is to read the group book and that is The Wicked Deep by Sheila Earnshaw. I have been wanting to read this book for ages, it was one of my most anticipated books of the year and I finally have the opportunity to get around to it. I believe it's all about witches and maybe ghosts, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I know it's about these three sisters who were drowned and accused of witchcraft and so then each year I think they drown a boy or something to get revenge. I'm not really sure, I'm sort of just, I'm not, I, I did know what this book was about but I kind of didn't want to go into blind again since I've lost the main gist of this story and so I'm not going to read the blurb to let you know what it's about but it does sound really good and I do highly recommend it especially if you're partaking in the readathon this year I definitely highly recommend that you pick it up because it does sound incredible and I've heard lots of good things about it. The next challenge is read a book from someone else's TBR and for this one I have chosen Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levensella. This book is on Christina's Journeys um, TBR so I'll link her video down below if you want to check that out as well. This is another book that I've been wanting to read forever. I love books about pirates and boats and the ocean and all of that stuff. So I can't wait to give this one a read. Again, I don't know what this was on about. I just know it's about the daughter of a pirate king, I am assuming. And I can't wait to give it a go. I know lots of people loved it and I hope to read this one during the week because it does sound incredible and right up my alley and I'm sure I'm going to love it. I could also use this one for the reader book that you think is going to be five stars. Um, because this one does sound amazing to me so I'm hoping it'll be a five star read and so if I want to I will double this one up for that challenge as well. So the next challenge is to read the first chapter of three books and then choose the one that's most interesting to you and so I have chosen my three books here. I haven't read the first chapter yet because I'm going to do that when I get around to reading one of these books and so the three books I have got to choose from is Meet Cute which is an anthology by a bunch of different authors, Cinder by Mira Samaya, and Labyrinth Lost by Zoraida Cordova. So two of these books, Cinder and Labyrinth Lost, I will be dub I can double up with the reader book that's been on your TBR for over a year because both of these books I have wanted to read for quite a long time now and I haven't got around to doing it. So if I do choose one of these two, it will be great to double up for that challenge. If I read Meet Cute, then obviously that would have to be for its own challenge because it doesn't go with any of the others. As I said, the next challenge is to read a book that's been on a TBR for over a year, and so I have got two options here, Cinder or A Labyrinth Lost. As I said previously, Cinder is a sci-fi retelling of Cinderella, and Labyrinth Lost, I believe, is a Mexican-based story about these this family, I think, who has like some sort of power, magic powers, like witchy sort of thing. I'm not entirely sure, but these book, both of these books sound amazing, and I can't wait to give them a go, and hopefully I'll get through them this readathon. 
For the next challenge is read a book that you think is going to be a five star read and as I have previously said I can use Daughter of the Pirate King for this one so if I do get through that book and I don't read the other book for this challenge then I will definitely include that one as part of this challenge but the other book I have for this challenge is Daughter of the Burning City by Amanda Foodie. This book could actually also go for the um, book that's been on my TBR for over a year because I've had this since March 2017 and I have wanted to read it since then so I could use that for this challenge but you're only allowed to double up on challenges, you aren't allowed to triple them up or etc and I also have this challenge for the next I also have this book for the next challenge which, we, which is Read and Own Voices novel which is different to yours I believe this book features a demisexual character and I do believe that Amanda Food is on the ace spectrum somewhere so that is why I'm including this book for the Own Voices book as well I'm not on the A spectrum, um, so this is completely different to my experience in life and I can't wait to read it and give it a go. I have heard so many great things about it, so yeah. This book follows a main character who is part of the circus of Gamora and she creates illusions who are not real, or she's never thought they were real, but she's always sort of thought of them as her family and then one day they start being killed off. And so it's about her solving this mystery, about who's killing her illusions, how are they being killed off if they're not real, etc, etc. And it sounds right at my alley. I love circus books. It sounds a bit creepy. And yeah. So I can't wait to read this one. The final challenge for this biannual bibliothon is read the last book you bought. And I believe the last book I bought was Moxie, but I don't have that book with me yet. It's still in the post. So if that book comes through the post in time, I might pick that one up. Or if not, I have Royals by Rachel Hawkins. This book I got in a subscriber subscription box that I did for a trade with someone online. Um, this wasn't something that I was going to pick up originally. It did sound like a quite quick, fun read. So I am happy to give this one a go. And it's really short, so that'll be really good. I believe this one is about an American girl whose sister is getting married to some Scottish prince. And during the wedding planning, she meets the prince's brother, and I'm assuming romance happens. Um, so yeah, so that's my TBR for the summer at Bayonne Bibliothon this year. I hope you enjoyed it. As I said earlier, let me know what your TBR is down below, and let me know if you're partaking in this readathon. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!